Sharp Game here, coming at you with another episode of FromTrueJournalationships.com. Off of Love Can't Wait, which you can find on Amazon.com. You can't blame black women if you're getting the same results from other women. I'm going to say that again. You can't blame black women if you're getting the same if you're getting the same results from other women. And you know there's a lot of guys out here will justify why they had to date out. Why they had to go elsewhere to meet women. Why they, why things just didn't work out with a lot of women that they encountered. And a lot of times, a lot of these guys are full of it because they wanted to date out anyway. They just had to find a reason to justify to their friends and family why they had to do it. So what they'll do is they'll date out, get over there, and oh, on the other side, things is different. Now, different doesn't equate to being better. But they'll get on the other side, a lot of these guys, and women too, and they'll bash black women. They'll bash black males. Especially black males get bashed more than anybody in this country. But they'll bash the other side that they left behind because they found something on the other side that's different, that's new, that's fresh. It's kind of like meeting a person, meeting a new person, and in the beginning, everything's fresh, everything's new, everything's, uh, the sex is good, and all the good shit. It's just like going on a vacation. You go on a vacation, everything's new, everything's fresh. Uh, if you had a, uh, the ocean's right there, uh, beautiful women everywhere. So, it's, it, but the environment you don't really know really how it is because you're not from there. You're just visiting. So you're on vacation. So whenever you date out, you're really on a vacation. And you really don't know the culture like you really think you know. You might have an idea, but you're not really sure. You might have studied some stuff, looked it up on the internet, you might have traveled there a couple times, but you're not going to really know until you spend a lot of time on the other side or until you spent time in that location. And that's how it is. And I've, I've said time after time, on the other side, when you date out, the grass is not greener. All you have is a new set of problems and I don't want to be involved with a lot of the old problems on the other side you know what I'm saying so I pick and choose who I want to be affiliated with who I want to spend time with and who I want to let in my circle because I don't assume just because she's white or he's white that is all good. I don't assume shit. You know, and that's what I see from a lot of black people. You know, some whites even do it. They starting to do the shit too. But the problem is, here's the deal. If you're having problems amongst your people, the people that you're affiliated with, based on your nationality, your race, your religion, etc., you're probably going to have some of the same problems or similar when you date out or when you go abroad because at the end of the day you're still the same person you haven't changed you're still making the same bad decisions and you get what you are you don't get what you want and a lot of people have a hard time with this especially women because we tend to put the cattle before the horse. See, the average person is doing this. They they want to look for the perfect person, and they're going to be looking forever. 
because it doesn't exist. But they're looking for the perfect person, you know. And when they find that perfect person, everything is new and fresh, and sex is good. Y'all going places through town. Y'all might even go on a, go out of town on the weekend. Y'all go to dinner. You bring the person around your friends, and all of a sudden, you, you little things start slipping out. You catch him in a lie. You catch her in a lie. Uh, they weren't honest about their family. They weren't honest about maybe maybe they have kids. They maybe they weren't honest about the amount of kids they had. Maybe they weren't honest about their credit score. I don't know. Whatever, whatever qualifications you have on your list, they just didn't own, didn't uh, own up to it. Or they didn't qualify. Things didn't go the way you would want to, you know. And and what happens is you're still the same person, but nothing's gonna really change because if you change, the people around you start to react to you differently. In most cases, now. Now, to some people, some people are going to look at you the same regardless because they've been brainwashed to believe that. But I, in some most case, most case scenario, if you change how you see yourself and you change and you get better as a person, your relationship is going to change with other people. You're not going to win over everybody. You're not trying to win over everybody. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't care about winning over everybody. But I, what I would say is you got it. Everything starts from you. It's an inside job. See, we like to go outside. We like to go outside first. And when we get that perfect person, and everything's all good and then we'll get started on the rest of the stuff we need to take care of but it doesn't work out like that it'll last if you try it that way that's that's the way most the average person does it'll last for a while and it'll crumble and then you got these women today they'll they run through guys and you got some guys uh, guys that are hurt or maybe uh some women broke their heart or something like that they'll run through women but a lot of women today, they'll run through guys. They might meet 20 guys in one year. That's just a low ball number. It could be more than that. But you know what I'm saying. They'll run through guys because they're looking for something. The perfect man. They're looking for love. They're looking for attention. They're looking for the being neglected. Because, you know, their parents, didn't, they didn't, they miss a few hugs when they were growing up. You know what I'm saying? And if you're a black male or a non-white male living in the United States of America, no one really cares about you. You're on your own. No one's going to feel sorry for you if something happens to you. People really don't care. No one's going to stand up for you. Stop looking for, stop seeking validation from people. Because you're probably not going to get it. I mean, the, the only thing that really matters is self -respect, having self-respect for yourself. That's all that matters. And having confidence and believing in yourself. That's all that really matters. I mean, you can, you can, I always say I'm not the moral police. You can date out. You can do whatever you want. But I'm trying to tell you. The grass is not green on the other side. And you got to ask yourself. When you talk. When you date out. And you're not secure with yourself. Or you're not that. You don't have. A, 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 a respect for yourself. You're going to. You're putting yourself at risk. I mean, there's always going to be some type of risk involved between any relationship, but you're putting yourself in a at a greater risk when you date out 
because you're in a different environment, different culture, different code of conduct, how people uh, ha have relations amongst each other. But if you have confidence in yourself and you believe in yourself and you have respect for yourself, you can go anywhere and meet women all over the planet. It doesn't matter. But if you're coming from a place place of lack, if you're if you're looking for something, if you're aggressively looking for something, it's probably not going to work out. You're going to have the same old problems on the other side in most cases. And I'm not I'm not saying all guys that date out are somehow lame and uh, and just can't be with black women I'm not saying that at all I'm talking about the guys or girls that bash the bash the, the males and females that they leave behind these are the people I'm talking about so there's a lot of this online and there's a lot of this within the mainstream media because you have a lot of black women that's on television and non-white women on television that get paid to bash black people so you got to ask yourself, who are these these program? Who who are these producers? Who are these, who are these, who are the, who are the owners of these networks like Fox, MSNBC, ESPN? What are their agendas? And why do they keep pushing out? Why do they make black males the face of domestic abuse? Why they never talk about white guys beating their wife, wives? Do you think white guys don't beat their wives? Let's let's get real. Why do you think that is? Why why are we the face of domestic violence, and no one else is? No one else gets talked about on television. No one else gets talked about really when it comes to crime. I mean, if you live in America, you would think that black males do all the crime. And black males have all the domestic abuse charges. But it's the opposite. I mean, it's a numbers game. If, if there's more white people in America than black people, which it is, it's an it's a law of averages. It's going to white people are gonna do have more crime. White people are going to have more domestic violence. It's a numbers game. You don't have to be a genius to figure this out. But a lot of black people and non white people as well, they join in, they get in where they fit in, whatever that is, you know. And they've been the other groups of people that come over here. They've been conditioned to hate us. They've been, yes, they've been conditioned to hate us and look down on us. Because when they come over here, you know, they have their own agendas. Whatever that is, I guess it's, most of the time it's to make more money or have more opportunities or whatever the case is. So they'll, they'll easily throw you under the bus. Easily. Because... You have no friend. We have no friends. If you're a black male, you have no friends. You're we're alone out here, and it's a new year. And I don't know about you, but I think you should take your focus off of women, or just trying to get women. You should focus more on yourself. Stack your paper, get your money up. Because if you stack your paper and get your money up, everything else usually takes care of itself. It usually works out that way. You know, and I mean, you, the way things happen in this world, especially in the United States of America, there's no justice out here. No one's going to feel sorry for you. Things happen in this country and all over the world by power, money and influence. And sometimes all of them, evil or, 
And and if you have money, money only goes but so far. Because you can have money and be a lame. You can have money and be a hoe. So that only goes but so far. If you have if you have money and influence, now you now you're on to something. You can do something. But if you have no money, you might be resourceful. Okay, you got you 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 can work with something. But you can't be broke. No is not resourceful. That that ain't gonna work. So and in order to have power, someone has to have your back. Even a big business, the government, military, organized crime, the mafia, somebody, goddammit. Somebody has to have your back. If you got money and no one has your back, now you're you're an easy target. So somebody, for example, somebody like Floyd Mayweather, he got a lot of charm, a lot of charisma, he got money, but he's an easy target. If somebody attacks him, or if he goes to jail, then what? I mean, some you would think somebody of his status in, in American society shouldn't go to jail. I mean, look at some of these white people. They never go to jail. They got... They from a wealthy family. Some of them got millions of dollars. They never go to jail. I mean, they get caught with cocaine in hand, in the car, in the purse. They never go to jail because they have clout. They have their family is well known, and they they've paid all the judges. They got. They got these people in their pockets. Even a couple, I think, um, yeah, as a matter of fact, um, what, I think Paris Hilton went to jail. She didn't actually go to jail, but she went down to some redneck uh, town police department. And once they took her down there and realized who she was, they knew they were in trouble. They started getting nervous and they got her up out of there with the quickness. So things happen through power, influence, and money out here. There's no justice out here. You have no rights. If you're a non white person, you have no rights. It doesn't exist. I mean, you. Just go read. And even if you have rights, nobody cares. Obviously, the cops, they don't care. So the the look, the 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 laws were written for us. And the laws were created by lawyers. And the lawyers don't follow these rules. They don't follow these laws. And cops obviously don't they don't care about them and and a lot of white people obviously they don't care about them either it's ob it should be obvious by now I mean you're looking at this on live in the flesh on television or uh, and on social media on video really so I got three sisters and they're a little older than me but they don't act the way black women act on television so I always ask myself when when guys start whining and complaining and justifying why they had to date out I, always, I have to ask them what type of black women are you talking about and and where are you meeting them? And most people always say the obvious places. The church, the clubs, the job. 
And these are the worst places to meet women. The church and the club are the worst places. And how are you meeting these women? I, I, I asked them that. I have to ask that. Because... I mean, nothing's going to get better for you until you get better. That's how it is. It's always been that way. So you can run and hide and dip and dive and test the waters and do whatever you do. I'm not the moral police, but what I would say is if you're getting the same results, from other women you can't blame black women that's it and no one's gonna feel sorry for you out here so if you like what you heard check out my uh, blog chooseyourrelationships.com subscribe to my channel until next time Trump Kings out peace